Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Maker Movement. Uh, today we're going to work on a sensor for VPT7. So this here is the Arduino Mega 2560. It's a microcontroller and you can uh, essentially create circuits. Here's a PIR sensor, passive infrared motion sensor. Uh, this is a cap, it's removable. Here's the sensor itself. Those two adjustment knobs control the sensitivity and the delay time. Uh, so here I'm just wiring up the uh, ground wire to one pin and then the ACC, the data pin, and then finally there's the uh, power pin to 5 volt. Next we open up the Arduino software. Um, make sure that it's the VPT7 uh, sensor input example. So this here uh, will swap out the numbers to pin number 2 and pin 0. Um, we're actually not even inputting anything into uh, pin 0, which would be pin 0 is just analog. Uh, we're going to be putting it in uh, the ACC into pin 2, which will be digital. Um, so this um, program here, we are going to check, and then we're going to upload it to the Arduino. Once it's Upload it to the Arduino. You'll see some blinking lights. Now confirm that it has received the program. Next, we'll open up VPT7. That is a VJ software. So here in the serial window, uh, we have to uh, choose the USB port that the Arduino is plugged into. Um, Make sure that it uh, matches the same baud rate, which is 9600, and then click listen. Uh, this is so that the VTP7 can uh, pick up any signal coming from the Arduino. For the first module, we've selected A, uh, which is analog. It's set to analog. Um, we're not actually having anything plugged in there, so really we could skip it and we could really just concentrate on this here B module which is our digital input next we select the uh, input router um, we're going to put uh, the outputs to from A to 1 and from B to 2 uh, here in the other router we're inputting um, two to video number yeah video number two this up here I just turned on a little viewer and uh, the mode that it will operate under will be um, scrub scrub through video and if you go down to clip on the tab on the left. Uh, you can uh, change uh, specifically what happens with each video clip. So back here over at the serial, you can see we have to make sure that that input is set to 2. And also this uh, number in the bottom right uh, that has to also be set to 2. So notice when I move my hand in front of the sensor, that X will go off in the B module. And also in the router number, when I move, a number will also pop up and it's just 0. It's, it's like an analog on or off. So when I move my hand in front, it causes the video to scrub. Thanks for watching guys. Again, I, I just created this video because I didn't find any sources on this workflow. 
that's it guys uh, you should try some different modes um, ppt7 is pretty powerful it's a free program and it's great uh, for mixing videos uh, you can also hook up a projector and um, do a, like live events um, also arduinos if you've never tried any uh, they're great uh, they're pretty cheap and um, there's lots of great projects you can do and experiment with so I've uh, included some links below that will uh, allow you to try those out even online you don't even have to buy any hardware uh, you can start um, creating circuits uh, for free on uh, Autodesk's website and uh, oh if you uh, have any projects uh, that you'd like to share uh, please post them below uh, thanks for watching guys uh, again please like and subscribe to this video if you want to see some more maker movement videos